yesterday turned into another 100 kilometre day. I was still following the Klar Elven, which I've only this morning found out is Sweden's longest river. I will be having words with my researchers about that little oversight. It's uh, tracked for a good chunk of its length, a couple hundred kilometres, by really nicely signposted cycle path. It starts up at Sisselbeck and follows kind of quiet country lanes down as far as Hagfors, where it joins up with the uh, Sverigeleden 16, which at this point is an old railway and just makes for some of the easiest cycling you can want. It is straight and level, there's no mountains to climb, it's really well signposted and the surface is it's better than most roads to be honest. You can really just cruise along, it's lovely. So I've got about two or three more miles of that before I nip off east to avoid actually having to go through the city of Karlstad itself and then I'm rejoining the Sverigeleden a little bit further out to start tracking my way down the east side of Venen, which is the biggest lake in Sweden. So hopefully we'll get some glimpses of the big water very soon. surest signs that I'm making good progress south other than the landscape getting a lot flatter is that the mosquitoes and the gnats, the muga or knotta, are not as anything like as much of a problem as they were only a hundred kilometers further north. Instead they've been replaced by ticks. I found the first one of those little crawling up my leg last night when I sat down to have dinner. It's good, you know, it's one of the lovely things about travel. You get to see new places, try new food, meet new people, experience new parasites. I'm hoping that maybe in the next town I come to, I can get myself infested with bot flies or a nice guinea worm or something like that. for lunch. I made the foolish mistake once again of going into the supermarket really hungry. So I did buy some practical food stuff but I also bought a massive bag of cinnamon rolls, biscuits, loads of just snacky stuff and I'm going to sit here in the park stuff my face with sugar. Um, it's been a good ride. I saw got the first glimpse of the big lake although it's really only um, a bay really, it's not the full expanse. 
and I think there's a little shelter right on the edge of the lake hidden away in the woods that's only kind of 10 kilometers on from here so I'm gonna go and check that out after lunch and if it's really lovely I might have an early finish and just sit on the banks of the Venon Lake and do some whittling. How pleasant does that sound? But we shall see. I'm going to feast first, then we'll pedal down there and see what it all looks like. <laughs> seems to take a lot longer than I think it's going to take and by the time I got out of Christineham the uh, clouds were beginning to look a little bit threatening and heavy on the horizon by the time I got to the turn off for this little shelter it was raining so that's decided it for me 68 kilometers is enough for today I'm gonna spend the night here in this very lovely spot on the bank of the largest lake in Sweden. For any fact fans out there, the lake Vänern has a surface area of 5,650 square kilometers, a maximum depth of 105 meters. It is the largest lake in Sweden. It's also the largest lake in the EU and the third largest lake in the entire European continent. So there you go. We can't really see out to the main lake from here. It was just kind of in a little side bay, but it still stretches to the horizon. It's very lovely. You can see some geese and some grey sky. I'm hoping that the wind and rain will keep the bugs down and I won't have to pitch a tent. If the rain eases up, I might even have a fire in a bit. But this is the sort of place I'm more than happy to just sit and contemplate the infinite horizons. Look away now if you don't want to see my bum. Well, that was both zesty and refreshing. I'm definitely out awake now. It's a pity. It's not a sandy beach, then I could have entered the water a little more gracefully, but that was good. A very brisk dip in the biggest lake in Sweden. <laughs> now it's dinner time. 